All right, so I've done about everything that I can on Vlak Mountain for now. We even got another skill tree on Dunban, which is nice. But yeah, so the highest spawn rate for Ice Cabin is 6%, looks like. I thought it was 2% for some reason, but 6% is still absurd. But apparently, in Definitive Edition, I might just be able to trade for it from Nupon Arc Sage, which is very nice. Man, Definitive Edition is so much better than the original. Hold on, trade items. Let's see here. Oh, can I only do it in post-game, though? Oh, do I actually have to go back to the thing? Dang. How do you trade? Can I press Y to trade or something? No. Wait, why can't I get collectibles from the Arc Sage? Hmm. Hmm. Hold on a hot second. Let's see here. How do I trade materials, though? Let's see here. Um. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition Nopon Arc Sage Trade Collectibles? Do I actually have to go back to Vlak Mountain? Do I actually have to do that? Um, let's see here. Um, when can I trade for collectibles? Um... Let's see here. You get Nup on Stone. This can be traded for unique armor items and gems of all ranks. It doesn't say... It doesn't say about trading for materials, though. Hmm. Collectibles. Let's see here. These items become available for purchase after reaching this place at that place that I won't, don't want to read because of spoilers. So it's literally right before the final boss. Dang. I guess we're actually going back to Velak Mountain. So you can only trade for, like, whatever materials you're missing from the Arc Sage. Like, right before the final boss. And this is the kind of game where it's like, once you beat the final boss, it places you right before the final boss again. Is the thing. So it's like, at the end of the game, essentially, anyway. Dang. Dang, hold on. So, nighttime. I need two ice cabbages for Colony 6. Guess we're going back to Valak Mountain for now to repair Colony 6. I hate ice cabbages so much. Let's see here. But yeah, ice cabbage. Due to the item's rarity, it is recommended this item be acquired by trading, but I can't do that until the end of the game anyway. The following locations have the spot highest spawn rate, 6% for ice cabbages at nighttime only. There's north of Negul Waterfall, starting from the ice elemental ether deposit, Head for the passage that slopes upward, then turn left at the end of the passageway is the spawning point. Where's that ghoul waterfall? I don't actually know where it is. Hold on a hot second. Let's see here. Nagul waterfall. Um, it is located on the upper level of Lack Mountain. Um, south of the Makonis Wound. Okay. Okay, let's try to find this waterfall. I guess we're exploring Black Mountain some more. I guess we're not done with this area yet. <laughs> My goodness. So, south, huh? South this away. Well, let's hope that I... I don't know why I fell, but okay. Let's hope that we find some ice cabbages. I hate those collectibles so much. I guess they didn't buff it from the from the original to the remake. At least in the remake, you can trade with a Nupon Arc Sage for collectibles, but only only at the very end of the game anyway. But it's also nice because there are some areas of the game, like the Ether Mine, for example, where it's like, after a certain amount of time, you just can't go there anymore. So any collectibles you're missing, it's nice that you can use the Nupon Arc Sage to get what you're missing. That's good at least. Okay, so this is probably the waterfall. Most likely, so let's discover it. There we go, Nagul Waterfall. Welcome back, Lyrical. Boobity bop. Yoink, I will take these. Thank you very much. Oh, I should be paying attention if I actually get an ice cabbage from one of these things. Is what I should be doing. Like, my camera's blocking it, but I'll let you know if I get one of the things. 
Um, yeah, those are not ice cabbages. So north of Nagul Waterfall, starting from the ice elemental ether deposit, head for the passage that slopes upward. So this way. Um, then turn left at the end of the pathway as a spawning point. So apparently the end of this here is a potential spawn point for ice cabbages. Only at 6% though. Because, like, they are such an annoying collectible. So this is apparently a potential spawn point for ice cabbages. Please have one of these be this. That is not that. What about this one? Nope, that is not it either. Dang. Uh, my oh my. I well, wish you the best of luck with that, Lyrical. Um, the wide area of the cave southeast of Bagnar Snowfield. So, like, this area here? The wide area of the cave southeast. Wait. Southeast. Cave area over here? Wait, what? The wide area of the cave southeast of Bagnar Snowfield. This cave here? So, it's like this little bit, that little smidge right there, huh? I think is what you're telling me. That little thing in the bottom right of the map that I have open right now is a potential spawn point for ice cabbages. Oh, I have to go like way around though. I have to go way around. My goodness, I hate ice cabbages. I hate them. Why couldn't they have increased the spawn rate from the original to definitive? Like, I guess if I make it all the way to the end of the game, I can trade for it anyway. But I need to make it to the end of the game for that. And I don't want to wait. I want to freaking repair Colony 6, like, right now. <laughs> is the thing. So I have to run around trying to get this 6% spawn rate item. Like, if I go to all the spawn points that's not there, I wonder if I can just, like, leave Valak Mountain and then come back. And then... And then have the things respawn. Like, the collectibles, that is. Maybe, maybe. But all the quests that I can do in Black Mountain for now are done. Is the case. So let's go into here. So apparently the wide area of this cave has like a 6% chance for spawning ice cabbages at night. Apparently. Oh, please have this be a freaking ice cabbage. Yes! There's my first one! You'll be big help with fixing up Colony 6. I could put it in my Collectopedia right now, but... You know, look at that. Ice cabbage. I need two more. I need two more of these annoying things. Like, I could put this one in my Collectopedia right now, but I think Colony 6 should take priority. Oh, oh I could freaking 100% Vlack Mountain right now. Oh. But I think the... I think Colony 6 should have priority over, over my Collectopedia. Ah! My, oh my. Okay, what are the other potential spawn points? Also, let's make sure it stays night for longer. Is what we do. So, let's see here. South of Bagnor Snowfield, on the map, the location is to the left and the wide area of the cave. What? South of Bagnor Snowfield. On the map, location is to the left of the wide area of the cave. Like, over here or something? I haven't explored over there anyway. So, even if it's not a spawn point, I guess I'll... I guess I'll explore anyway. This is the case. And <laughs> that makes sense, Lyrical. Yeah, I guess I'll check this area over here, I suppose. See what's... See what's happening. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what it means by this. South of Bagnar Snowfield. On the map, the location is to the left of the wide area of the cave. So I don't know if there's something over here or not. I can always check. Apparently Frag sent out a sent out a tweet. Oh yeah, it's till like freaking July 1st alright. Wow. I could I could have like freaking Happy Canada Day in my my stream title. My oh my. Don't tell me I have to fight you. Please just give up. Stop chasing me. Stop chasing me, man. My oh my. Let me just make sure I'm not getting the days mixed up. Let me check the calendar. Yeah, it's freaking July 1st. Today's today's literally Canada Day. I didn't even didn't even realize. I'm gonna change my stream title. 
That's what I'm gonna do. Boobity bop. Man, time sure flies. I guess I'll just fight you, I guess. Dang it, bad idea. Dang. Dang, this sucks. Yes, go after him, not me. Oh, it'll do zero damage to him? Okay. Okay, well. Oh, it sort of hit me anyway. Okay, well. Coil? I don't know where Charlotte's going. Guess she's going over there, I suppose. My goodness. Let's put him to sleep for like two seconds. Bam! Okay, less than a second. That works too. That works too, I suppose. Ow. Rude. My oh my. Okay, boop. Booby bop, let's keep spamming like elementals, I guess. Uh, sure, Ren can get some health, I suppose. Sure, he can get some. My oh my. My oh my, keep spamming them. Keep spamming my things. Okay, booby bop. Ow, my health. It hurts a little bit. My oh my. Okay. Spam elementals. Spam them. Oh my. This is, uh... Maybe not super good. I'll just expend my current elementals. Get some health drain. Oh, right as Charlotte's heal around. That was pretty nice. Okay, let's get some more of these. This dude's almost down. Almost. This item over here is probably not even going to be an ice cabbage anyway, but I mean... But I mean... Yep, that's not an ice cabbage. That's not it. Um, where else can it potentially spawn? Also, how do I even map out this bit over here anyway? It's like a higher level that I... It's probably over this way. Like, maybe I should explore there, just because I haven't been there yet. Maybe, maybe. Wait. Okay, I've been down there before. Since it's mapped out. So, let's actually explore around. I have one ice cabbage. I need one more for repairing Colony 6. Also, once I have the other ice cabbage, will I have enough for... Hold on. Yeah, the other ice cabbage is all I need for the next level of nature. I said commerce earlier, didn't I? When I was talking about ice cabbages, what I meant was nature. Oh, sorry for my sniffles. Sorry about that. So yeah, I need one more, and then we can get that to level 3. Is what we can do. Hmm... I'm not exactly sure what that means, Lyrical, I'm sorry to say. Not quite sure what you mean, but alright. For now, I'm gonna explore this area down here, because I haven't yet. Wah. Oh, I guess there's a slope that I can go up, it looks like, according to the map. To get to that upper area. Methinks. Dang it, well, so much for picking up that collectible since this guy's attacking me. Oh, I can't open the map while I'm being attacked. Dang. I can't exactly do that. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll explore down here first, just in case it's like a... considered an area or something. Looks like this whole bit is just considered Bagnar's snowfield, though. I'll take that. He's gonna see me if I try to take the other one, though. This is the thing. Wow, my nose. So if I cut through here... Oh, it looks like items have respawned. I think this is one of the potential spawn points for ice cabbages, isn't it? Well, hopefully one of these is an ice cabbage. Like, I think this is one of them, right? I have to walk, though. Um... Whoops. No, it's a different cave. Um... Oh, yeah, it was that one. Sorry, this is not a spawn point for ice cabbages. I'll take them anyway. And gotcha, gotcha, then. I mean, hopefully this is an ice cabbage anyway. Nope. Neither of them were. That one was a sour radish, apparently. So, oh, you're attacking me anyway. Guess I moved a little bit too fast. So, how do I make it up to... to here? Oh, I gotta go, like, way around, huh? 
Oh, it's that cave that I came out of. So I gotta go around this way. And then there should be a slope over here that lets me go up to that area. Because that's probably a location I haven't discovered yet, most likely. Most likely. Wait, is there a slope up for me? Is this a sneaky little entrance right here? Oh, it is a sneaky little entrance right here, isn't it? One marked on the map. Okay, so I haven't been up here yet. Not as of yet. Let's see what's going on over here. Hmm. No items? No collectibles? Is there nothing up here? There's gotta be something up here. There has to be at least something. Surely. Yeah, there's collectibles over here at least. Was there one behind this pillar, or am I imagining things? I'm imagining things. Dang. Um. That's not what I need. Hmm. Hmm. Why does this game require you to get freaking three ice cabbage? Well, I guess you don't, you don't need it to beat the game or anything like that, but. You know. If you're trying to go out and do all the things. All right, we discovered another location. Nice. Okay, I need to defeat these dudes so I can actually pick up those items. I'm curious what those are. Like, the only thing I'm missing from the Collectopedia is an Ice Cabbage. I can put one in. But I kind of want to save my two for Colony 6. Like, I'm okay with worrying about the Collectopedia way later. Hello, Vitmas. How are you doing today? Hello, hello. I'm searching for a freaking item that has a 6% spawn rate in its best areas. So, I'm having fun fun in the sun over here. Hope you are too. <laughs> Hope you're also having some fun fun in the sun, just like I am. Looking around for this item. My oh my. My oh my. Booby bop. Um, I guess I'll just keep spamming elementals, I suppose. Time to keep spamming them. More of them. Yoink. Booby bop. Spam the rest of them. Boop. Okay, what's this? I was wondering what that weird symbol on the map there was. Is this gonna be something for a side quest? What is this? This is just like a single flower pick. It's a frozen flower. It's transparent like glass. Pure ice flower. That's probably gonna be a quest thing, isn't it? If I had to guess. Can't interact with it anymore. Probably gonna be something for a quest. Most likely. Um, neither of those are the freaking ice cabbages that I needed, though. Yeah, I have no idea what the thing that I just picked up was. Um. Yeah, I got a pure ice flower. Hmm. These are all, like, important things, apparently. Hmm. Hmm. Wonder what that's for anyway. So I discovered this area now, luckily. Um, once we discover all the locations and landmarks, we will have Valak Mountain mapped out. So let's see here. Um, so you can also potentially get some at the pool of water that is only accessible by jumping off Three Sage Summit. Oh, that's like the super crazy ice slide, isn't it? I mean, I may as well explore the rest of Valak Mountain that I haven't yet. I know that on the right side, somewhere over here, there's like a really crazy ice slide. May as well explore around for now. May as well, while collecting items. And just cross my fingers that one is an ice cabbage, but it's almost certainly not going to be. Yeah, I think it's like 6% its best areas, 2% normally. Maybe that's where I got confused with the 2% from. Maybe, maybe. But yeah, there's like something over here, I think. I think there's a, if I remember correctly, there's like a crazy ice slide thing. Yeah, I've mapped out there before. I guess I haven't explored this way before. On that lower level. I could always jump down and explore there. Is what I could do. Hmm. Or I could explore this whole branch. I mean... Wait. Yeah, I think I should probably... I'm gonna die from this, aren't I? Dang it. <laughs> Dang it, why do I keep jumping off of things with Melia? Why do I do this? Okay, maybe I'll stay on the lower level this time and take that little cave entrance me things. Man, Valak Mountain at night is so pretty. I'm gonna keep it night though because ice cabbages, I believe, have a better chance of spawning at night. 
Plus, it's also just so much prettier at night. Like, holy crap. I need this in VR. <laughs> Very much so. Alright, so we'll find the entrance over here. And I think, if I remember correctly, the super slide into, like, the secret area is somewhere over here. I think. It's been a hot while, though. It has certainly been a while. Oh, so we wouldn't have been able to get through here earlier because we didn't have the thing that lets me get through here. But now we can. Nice. Okay, so I guess it just doesn't want you going there immediately until you've gotten through most of Black Mountain. I suppose. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, it's so beautiful. It's so pretty. Alright, we discovered another location. Always good to see. I'll grab some more crystals. Before we continue with story content, I'll probably make a whole bunch of freaking... Whole bunch of custom crystals. Whoa. It's nice how it gives you a little platform so you don't die on your way down. Apis Slayer, huh? The Apis Slayer, you say? Ow. Ow. Rude. How dare you give me fall damage? Still not the items I need, though. Hmm. Hmm. Slowly but surely, we're getting Valak Mountain mapped out here. Slowly but surely. Bit by bit. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see here. Is this gonna be the ice cabbage I need? The moment I get a second ice cabbage, I'm out of here. I'm going to freaking Colony 6. And repairing it some more. I can't believe they're demanding two of these insanely low spawn rate items for me. I can't believe it. Wow, that's a big ether deposit over there, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. Is this a... Oh, there is a cave here, so we can keep exploring this away. Let me just grab this item that's probably almost certainly not going to be a nice cabbage. Yeah, it wasn't. It was not. You can't see exactly what it is because my camera kind of blocks it, but take my word, it's not what I need. <laughs> it's not exactly what I need. So here's the other little cave thing, Bob. Oh, so I might have to get back to that first entrance and take like the path. I think that's the big ice slide that I see up there. I think that's what it is. Hmm. Well, we need to get the locations of the Apis Lair and the thing before it anyway, so. Probably not a bad thing that I went there. If I'm getting all of the Lack Mountain mapped out after all. So, we'll go up here. We'll take the other path this time now that we've gone through the Apis Lair. I can make this jump, right? Lame. <laughs> so lame. My goodness. Aliyup. Good old Ryan's alley -oop. So yeah, we went down into the Apis Lair before. To get that mapped out and get that location on our map. Make some progress on that front. So now we'll go this way, and I think this is the way to the giant ice slide, right? I think. Probably. Hmm. That's also not what I need. Hmm. Yeah, this is totally the way to the giant ice slide. There we go, we got another location discovered. Oh yeah, this is the giant ice slide. Well, here we go. Let's try to not die, hopefully. Wait, wah. There's a whole bunch of items. Can I go up the slope? Can I see what this is? I want this. Dang it, none of those were what I needed. Okay, so I guess it wasn't the giant ice slide yet. Oh, there's the giant ice slide. Can't you, like, not make the jump until you do something specific, or am I losing my mind? Or am I just losing my mind here? Hmm. Well, here we go, I guess. Time for Vlock Mountain's giant ice slide. My, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Ow, my face. Okay, we freaking made it. So there's like the lower pool over here though. I'm glad that smacking your face doesn't like give you damage from the impact. 
I'm glad about that. So there's the other thing here. Oh, I think that's the area where we helped out, like, the Nupon who was in trouble before. But to get up here, you needed to use the freaking giant ice slide. Wait, but then how do I do anything from here? I need more height, don't I? Don't you need to, like, time it with a geezer or something in order to make it? Maybe I'm not losing my mind after all. Because you need to make it up to that higher level. Which I didn't. I'm just kind of stuck here now. What do you need to do in order to make it up to the higher level, though? What is the answer? Like, I can get the collectibles down here first and foremost, but... I forget exactly what it is you need to do to successfully take the giant ice slide. I forget exactly. Hmm. I'll, I could try it again. Maybe I'll look up a clip on, like, YouTube or something. See if there's something specific that I need to do. I'll grab these things first. And just really hope that they're an ice cabbage, but probably not. Most likely not. Yeah, they're not. Um... So, let's see here. Let's actually go to, say, YouTube or something. This is what we can do. Um, where's a tab that I can spare? I have so many tabs open, like, all the time. So, let's see here. Xenoblade Chronicles Valak Mountain Ice Slide. Let's see here. Three Sage Summit. So, how do you make the jump? Ah! No, I don't want the music of that. So that this is just the original game. This is from 2011. So yeah, it shows the way. I already know the way. So how does this dude make the jump? Hold on, let's see here. Do I just need to time my jump better or something? Oh, I think that might just be it. Wait. Oh, that wall was a climb spot and I didn't grab on. No wonder it showed the climb spot on the map. Dang it! Well, here we go again. Here we go again, I suppose. Dang it. I could climb on that wall, but I wasn't holding forward, so I guess I just bonked my face on it. And went on my way. Dang. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. That sure sucks. Oh, man, now it's a bit of a snowstorm. I love how you can see the glowy tower in the distance. I like that a lot, actually. I do quite like that. Come along, friends. You keeping up? You keeping up? I hope you are. What? That's a rock. I don't want to get caught on the rock. Let's try that ice slide. One more time. And this time, actually grab onto the wall. <laughs> I can't believe it. I cannot believe. Okay, yoink. I'll take this, thank you. Yeah, before we do more story stuff, I will wind up making a whole bunch of custom ether gems, methinks. I'll put onto my armor and stuff. That's probably a good idea. Alright, this time is the time. This time is the time. We'll make it to Three Sage Summit. I'm gonna reset the time a little bit because I want to keep it night because it's better spawn rate for ice cabbages, I think. Who got something? Um, Schultz got a- oh, he got a new thing, Merbob. Causes burst affinity to fill more of the party gauge. Nice. Increases chance of a chain link by 15%. Nice. And then we'll switch over to intuition afterwards. Oh, the snowstorm let up. Neat. Neat, neat. Let's be on our way. Oh, ice and Xenoblade Chronicles. How wacky it likes to be. <laughs> it's pretty fun, though, honestly. It is pretty fun. Alright, so now I know I can grab onto that. Onto that wall. I wonder what their idea was when they programmed the ice physics of this game. Because, like, it's hella wonky. But hella fun as is. Honestly. Kate, grab onto the wall this time. Look at that speed! Because <laughs> grabbing onto that, you totally wouldn't just bash your face against that wall or have your arms break the moment you freaking grab on at that speed. Alright, look at this. Let's get up here. Oh, hi, friends. I see we're already up there. <laughs> my, oh, my. Yeah, so let's make it up to this peak, please. 
Oh, look at that tower in the distance. It's so beautiful. Oh, this game is so pretty. My goodness. This game is too gorgeous. It's too gorgeous, man. Please have one of these be an ice cabbage. Dang. Dang. Neither of them were even vegetables. Oh, there was three of them. But still, they were all flowers, not veggie tables. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Ether dude. Excuse me. I've got places to be. And then... So up here should be the Three Sage Summit. And apparently that is another decent place for Ice Cabbage's spine. This is gonna collapse if I step on it, isn't it? I'm skeptical. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> if I had to take the slide again, I would not have been happy. I would not have been one too thrilled exactly. Jeez, this thing is actually pretty high up, isn't it? Okay, here we are. We made it to Three Sage Summit. And we got the area, so now I don't need to worry about these guys killing me because I'll just respawn here anyway. Let's see if I can sneak past them. Let's see here. Please don't see me as I grab the collectibles over here. Thank you. I'm looking for an ice cabbage. I'm not getting an ice cabbage. What the heck is over here? Like, I can teleport back up here whenever I need. I guess that's an easy way down if you want it. I mean, I can teleport back up here whenever I want now. So, let's see. What have we here? Is this gonna be another location? What is this? Not another location, huh? Still just counts as Black Peak. Hmm. Hmm. Yoink, still not an ice cabbage. Oh. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Down we go! Whoa! My goodness. My oh my. And now we're in this area. Okay. Okay, and the tower's over there. Neat. Okay, I'll grab these. Neither of them are the things I need. I'll probably go back to Three Sage Summit. Oh, I was hoping it would spawn me up there, considering that's where it shows the landmark as. Oh, well. Oh, well, let's just hope that none of the freaking super bosses see me. The kind of generic level 99 enemies and then the super boss. Like, the max level in this game is 99 for your characters. So whenever something's above level 99, that means it's the super boss. So, that dude's level 100. It appears to be sealed. I guess there'll be, like, some side quest with this in the future. Most likely. Most likely. Do I have all of Black Mountain mapped out yet? No, I don't. There are still some areas that I haven't discovered yet. So, Ice Cabbage spawn points. Let's see here. Let's just see. Um... Let's see here. At the northeast corner of this area, there's a door that is only open when the final giant's ruins is active and the party has obtained the daring heart and truth of the giant. So that's like some crazy endgame stuff, I guess. Is probably the case. Hmm. So yeah, Final Giants Ruins is a side quest that you get in Black Mountain, like, way late game. Apparently. So let's see here. Pool of water that is only accessible by jumping off the three-stage summit is another spawn point for them. So I already went there and I didn't get them. South of Yacht Geezer, look for the slightly concave wall on the left. Yacht Geezer, where is that? So it's over here, apparently. Um, south of it, look for the slightly concave wall on the left. Apparently, for another potential ice cabbage spawn point. Slightly concave wall on the left, you say? I could go to that ether deposit quickly as well. Is what I could do. Man, that tower is freaking gorgeous. It's gorgeous, I love it. Yoink. Watch me just get an Ice Cabbage from one of the random spawn points that isn't even the 6% ones. Ow, rude. Ouch. How dare ye. I can't believe you've done this. Okay, can you stop attacking me so I can get this collectible? Thank you. There we go. It wasn't even what I needed. It wasn't even it. Like, is this gonna be a big Ether Deposit or something? Why is it all on its lonesome, like, way at the end of this 
cave thing. Yeah, why is it... And it's behind a thing of ice as well, so you need to have gotten the story quest done in Black Mountain before you can even get here. Is this gonna be like a location that I discover or something? What is this? What is this anyway? Hmm. What have we here? Is it just gonna be like a really big ether deposit or something? Maybe? What have we in here? No, it's just like a really tiny ether deposit all on its own. Lame. I mean, wind ether deposit means I could potentially make some agility up gems at some point, though. Hmm. I was hoping it'd be like a really big ether deposit or something. That would've been neat. But oh well, what you gonna do? Time to jump around a bit. Wait, are there some chests over there that I never got? What? What the heck? Okay. I guess maybe I killed some enemies over here at some point and then never got the, never got the chest. Okay. So south of the geezer, look for this slightly concave wall. On the, oh, it's this right here is what it means. Well, I haven't explored down here yet anyway, so I guess I'll explore this first. That's what it meant. A slightly concave wall. Boobity bop. I'll explore down here first anyway, just because I haven't been here yet. I have not yet been here. So let's see. What have we down here? What have we anyway? Does it go way down? Oh my goodness, there's so much over here that I never explored. What the heck? It's a collectible over here too. What the heck is all over here? Jeez, the areas in Xenoblade Chronicles are so vast, I really wish there was a button for like running. I really wish. Huh. Hmm. Let's make this fall a little bit safer. Whoops, I keep pressing the wrong button. There we go. I made the fall a bit safer. Uh, skill trees. Did somebody else get a skill? Um, Charlotte got something. Increases ether when HP is at half. Nice. And Ricky got- Oh, he, get, he got his first branch done. Increases EXP awarded in battles during the day by 15%. Ricky has, like, everything during the day, huh? So, this will improve agility. This will improve ether defense. Uh, increases movement speed by 5%. Oh, that's just- That's just straight up nice to have, isn't it? AP bonus. EXP bonus. Always oh, awards more EXP when discovering a landmark. Huh. Wait. As I must be sold for a higher price. Awards the same EXP regardless of participation in battle. Oh, let's Ricky steal AP with you, Oink, and share it with the party. Grants immunity to shrink down debuff. Let's Ricky steal EXP with you, Oink, and share it with the party. Huh. That's all really good. Like, I would like to get this skill on a whole bunch of nerds. As soon as I can. Man, why are all of Ricky's so spicy? Like, they don't help a whole lot in combat itself, but just, like, nice little things to have around. I must say. Yeah, I guess I never explored down here. Hmm. Guess I never did. That's a vegetable. It's not ice cabbage, though. It's not the thing I'm looking for. Unfortunately. Let's hope I'm not seen by the big mean one. Let us hope. At first, I thought that was a cave entrance over there. It was just a rock. Just a rock, though. Hmm. Hmm. Well? Please don't see me. I just want this item over here, honestly. I just kind of want this. Thank you, Ether Plum. Hmm. I mean, I think I might. Dang it, why do I keep pressing plus? Yes, I was playing Breath of the Wild on stream semi recently. You can make this, right? Heck yeah. Heck yeah, man. Sweet. Back to Melia. <laughs> oh, man. So we've got a thing over here, apparently. What kind of thing have we got over here, though? Oh, super secrets, maybe? I'm high enough level that those dudes don't care. The dude in front cares, but, like, he won't see me. So it doesn't matter. 
So it doesn't even matter. So I've got a climb spot here. This is the case. Up we go. Come along, friends. Come along. What's going to be up here anyway? I don't know if I've ever explored Vlak Mountain this extensively. Here I was thinking that I was done with Vlak Mountain for now. But getting all the side quests done. And I could just like trade for ice cabbage or something. But no. But no. Doesn't even let you do that. What have we here? Oh, is that just the way back up here? Wait, no. This is its own thing. It's not connected to that over there. It's not even connected to that. Oh, what the heck is this? Now, this looks like the place that the freaking Minato will be sealed away. Not that tower. Like, that looks like a freaking natural occurrence kind of thing. This looks like the place where you seal something away. This is what this looks like. The heck? Landmark. Lala's Church. What the heck? I probably can't enter it right now if I had to guess. Most likely. Did I? I think I got a skill on Melia. It just told me. Well... Yeah, let's focus our attacks on this one first and foremost. This is what we do. And then booby up. Man, that freaking spinning attack on range sure gets loud, doesn't it? Sure gets loud. You're here with even better judgment? What do you mean even better judgment? What you mean? But hello, hello, Kraken. Wait, I should... I should probably do this. I never use this a whole lot, do I? Art seal. Cool. How are you doing today? Did I ask that? Whatever. If I asked it before, I'll ask it again, I guess. <laughs> I suppose. Okay, boopity bop. Bam. Get him. Doing well and good to hear. Are you gonna celebrate Canada Day like us Canadians over here? Boop. Okay, this dude's health is getting a little bit low. I wonder when I can get in here. It's probably gonna be another crazy side quest. Ow, root. It's probably gonna be during some like spicy side quest if I had to guess. Most likely. Also, I should not have five summons too late. I have no idea how to play Melia. It just lets me freaking spam these constantly. It just lets me constantly spam it, is the case. Like, that's all I'm doing is I'm spamming them because that's all I know how to do to play Melia is just freaking spam elementals. Like, that's all I know how to do because I have no idea how to freaking play her. Booty bop. It is balance? What? Like, the elementals? Booty bop. Do you have three plus copy? Appears to be sealed. Yeah, I guess I'll be able to do something there later. Most likely. Can I just jump down here? Wait, I have no idea how... I'm not even sure how the buffs all work. Honestly. Like, I don't know how long they last after you summon them. Do they get spent the moment that you discharge them? Cause send me a video already. Maybe I'll check it out after stream then. Yeah, will do in that case. Have you ever searched around for ice cabbages in Xenoblade Chronicles? Because I've played this game in the past and searched around for ice cabbages before, and here I am doing it again, and it's just as painful as always. What the heck is going on over there? What the heck is that thing, and how do I get up there? What is that? What is that thing? Oh, it's probably like the exit to this thing. Probably. Most likely, if I had to guess. That's a big bit of ice, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. I like that clip you sent. Which one? How what? Which clip? I'll just grab all the stuff over here for now. I'm getting, yeah, a whole bunch of Discord notifications. DMs after YouTube stream. When was this? Hold on. Um, is this going to be a location over here that I haven't discovered yet, I wonder? Yesterday? Was there something sent to me yesterday? Hold on. Oh, I didn't even get the chance to see that because I opened my DMs like while I'm streaming being like, who's DMing me? And then I don't have the one notification on there anymore. So I didn't even realize that I was, that I had something anymore. I didn't even realize because I didn't have the one notification anymore. This is the thing. I guess I could try heading up here. Because whenever somebody DMs me on stream, I open it being like, who's DMing me? And then I close it, and then I don't have a one notification anymore. 
This is why DMing me on stream is never a good idea. Because I never get the notification anymore by the time it's over. Yoink! Wow, I'm glad I was actually able to grab that. Too bad it wasn't a nice cabbage. Like, I opened them while they're streaming during, like, cutscenes or something. Just to check what even happened. And then the notification is gone. And then I, by the time the stream is over, I have no idea that anybody DM'd me. Is typically what happens. So, is this little inlet here going to be a location I haven't discovered yet, maybe? Oh, I can also maybe take that massive ice slide while I go up here. Maybe, maybe. Maybe. What is this over here, anyway? Is this going to be a location? I hope it is. Nope, sure isn't. Yes, it's not. Ah, well. Ah, well. Ah, well. Let's maybe take the other massive ice slide. See what that's all about. How about... Oh, I just realized it's freaking daytime again. I should change it to... Change it to night, because... Better chance for ice cabbages. Let's see here. Skill juice. Somebody else get another skill. Melly got a skill. Boosts wind damage by 25%. Okay. Okay. Sounds good to me. Grab a whole bunch of these things. It's still not an ice cabbage. And searching for ice cabbages is painful. That's your name when you're being Angi Har Harmi? Harmia? But I can't help it. When people DM me on stream, I gotta see where I'm getting messages from because sometimes it's important stuff. And then if it's not something I need to check immediately, I close it. And then, then I have no idea anybody's DM'd me. So typically, typically DMing me on stream is usually not the best of ideas. Wait, can I not do anything here? What? Can I not? My goodness, my health is already low. My, oh my. My health is already pretty low here. My, oh my. So do we get the, do we lose the agility up when we discharge it? I still have no idea how Melia works. Oh, wait, use the thingamabob. The thingamabob. Let's put you to sleep for like half a second, considering. It's pretty much useless against, you know, one enemy, but <laughs> I'll use it anyway, I guess. I suppose. I just spam these. Just keep spamming these, I guess. Booty bop. Well, oh my, I've fallen and I can't get up. I can't get up. Thank goodness you're targeting Ryan. Thank goodness for that. Okay, can I not do anything about this over here? Can I not? Can't, like, melt anything here or something? Hmm. Hmm. It's a little bit saddening, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. So what areas are there over here that I haven't explored yet? What have we? I should be able to survive this fall. Right. Yep. Uh, I guess I haven't gone down this way before. I could see if it's a location or something like that. Why are you attacking me? Why oh why? Could you just maybe not? I'm doing things. I'm looking for freaking ice cabbages. I'm looking for ice cabbages. Can you chill? Can you maybe chill? Oh, dang it. Now this dude's fighting as well. Dang it. Sometimes I wish it was easier to avoid enemies. Sometimes I do wish it was a little bit easier to avoid enemies. But what you gonna do? Freaking blast. Boobity bop. Well, there go my ele- whoops. <laughs> Time to spam elementals again, is what we do. Spam a whole bunch of them. Yeah, your health is almost down. Oh, you have freaking spike though. That's rather annoying, isn't it? Oh, freaking Charlotte with the sliding, nice. My oh my. Manifest yourself. And we do this. And this, and this, and this, and this, and this. Oh, it looks like Ryan was able to give Charlotte some inspiration. Nice, build up some more affinity. 
build up some more affinity with one another. Hmm. That summon Earth is freaking so slow to charge, like holy crap. My goodness. Oh, I need to give you some inspiration, don't I? There we go. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Now we get to spam it all. Now we get to spam a whole bunch of these. Hopefully this dude doesn't explode and take away my XP. Because that would suck. I hate when they do that. I hate it so much. There we go. Neat. Didn't explode and take away my XP. Get booby bop. Mute Mike and Siffle real quick. Quick, sorry. Still not a ice cabbage though. Still not what I needed. So saddening. Hmm. Could always explore to the right here to see if I missed anything. Like, I wonder if this counts as an area and I didn't get over here to, like, actually set it as an area or something. I wonder. Yeah, there's that big ice slide thing that I apparently can't take right- Oh, come on! These birds suck! They suck, man! But yeah, did I maybe miss anything over here? I wonder. Guess this doesn't count as an area? I guess not. I need an ice cabbage. I need one more. I already got one. As tempting as it is to put in the Collectopedia, I'll hold myself back from it. So I can use it for Colony 6. So that over there is, yeah, the landmark. It's that landmark over yonder way. Hmm. Hmm. Well. Is there anything of note over here? There's a little skating rink. Some items. Is one gonna be an ice cabbage? Is that a slope to go up? It is. I wonder if there's gonna be anything spicy up there. I wonder. There's some items. Hopefully these guys don't attack me. Oh, it looks like they might. If I just walk. Will they maybe not attack me then? Cool. These are not ice cabbages though. Yoink. Whole bunch of other veggies, but not ice cabbage. So saddening. Like, unless I picked one up without me even realizing it. Yeah, I still only have the one. So I don't want to put it in the Collectopedia because I need it for Colony 6. Even though it means I could 100% Black Mountain. But I can do that anytime. Repairing Colony 6 I want to do right now. But I can trade for ice cabbages like way, way later. Oh, come on. Come on. Dang, I'm under leveled for it. Well, I am taking so much damage. Why isn't right? Okay, now he's taking aggro. My goodness. Oh, man. I wish that there was easier ways to avoid combat. When you're just trying to find collectibles and stuff. My, oh my. What a world. Well. Okay, we should be okay for this battle, I think. We should be okay? Probably. Hmm. I don't know. That's boobity bop. Just boobity bop real quick, don't mind me. I don't know. Bam, here's a little bit of healing at the cost of my own health. There's a little bit of that. Oop. We're gonna have so many freaking water elementals. Oh, I can't even inspire him from here, because I'm bounded. Oh, it looks like Charlotte. Oh, she just inspired me, though. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, well, time to use a whole bunch of elementals. My, oh, my. All right, we're getting affinity with more nerds. Always nice to see. Always nice to see so we can pass some skills around. Next time I do a weird party step, it'll probably have Ricky, especially with all the nice little passives that it seems like he'll probably be getting pretty soon here. That'll be nice to include. My oh my. Neat. Neat. What's this? Wasn't even what I needed. <laughs> Wasn't even the thing. There's a big ether deposit over here that I could at least harvest if I follow this path. 
So there's that. Let's see what's over this way. A big, a big freaking ether deposit, you say? So that was where we did the boss battle. Over there is like where to continue the story by going to Sword Valley. I don't want to do that for a little bit. Glad this dude isn't attacking me. Yeah, real big ether deposit, huh? Hopefully I should be able to make some nice gems out of this. I hope. I hope I can make some nice ones. Like, it's been a while since I did any gem crafting. I probably have a whole lot of crystals at the ready to be made into gems. Most likely. Most likely. I do like how you can move while you're while you're harvesting things. Hmm. Yeah, so I guess I've explored about all of this, like, bit for now. So apparently there is a potential spawn point in this little concave bit, like, right here. Just south of that geezer. And by spawn point for ice cabbages, I mean, like, freaking 6% spawn rate at nighttime. Gotta make sure it stays night. So, I mean... Fingers crossed that I get one. Fingers crossed. My oh my. That's not what I needed. Please don't attack me. Please no. So apparently it's that little in bit there where ice cabbages can maybe spawn. Maybe, maybe. We shall see. Running, 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 running. Hmm. So, is one of those things gonna be an ice cabbage? I sure hope so. That is not an ice cabbage. Is this gonna be the ice cabbage I need? Maybe? Sure isn't. Not even a vegetable. How about this? Nope. How about this one? Nope, sure isn't. Hmm, well, hold on, let's see here. What are the other spawn points? Southeast of Ignea Hill, from the ice elemental ether deposit facing east, head northwest until the blue orb is visible. Ignea Hill. Where's Ignea Hill? Um... Let's see here, it's on the lower level. Oh, so it's just over there. Let's see here. So it was southeast of Ignea Hill, so over here somewhere. From the ice elemental ether deposit facing east, head northwest until the blue orb is visible. So it's like, this ether deposit here? Hold on. Hold on a hot second. So we'll go around this way. I suppose. Are you going to attack me? I honestly thought you might. Guess not. So let's go this way. So from the ice elemental ether deposit facing east, head northwest until the blue orb is visible. I'll read that again once I get there. To refresh my memory a little bit. I hate ice cabbages so much. I think they're probably my least favorite collectible item in this whole game. I think they may well be, honestly. I think that may be the case. Well? So I should be able to make it to that from this little bit here, right? Yeah, this little way. So I don't need to take the ice slide after all, I suppose. I can just sneak my way up this way. Be super sneaky about my exploring. Also, isn't it so fitting that it's like Canada Day and we're spending it in this like freaking frozen environment? <laughs> oh man. My oh my. In this frozen wasteland here. My oh my. Yeah, so this should be the ether deposit over here. Is it on this level? Oh, it's on. Oh. Well. What happens if I go up this way then? Oh, maybe I can melt that thing from the other side? I love how that tower looks. Like, look at that. That's really cool, honestly. No. 
Like, I'll go this way first, because I know I couldn't make it this way before. So maybe I can just melt this thing from the other side? Please don't see me. Thank you. Please have one of these be like an ice cabbage. That would be wonderful. No, I can't melt this, so this is just a one-way thing. It's not even a big ice slide like I thought it might be. Anyway, so there's the ice ether deposit over there. So, let's see here. From the ice elemental deposit facing east, head northwest until the blue orb is visible. What? From here, northwest until the blue orb is visible. Was it just this? Did I go the right way? What do you mean until the blue orb is visible? That might have been the area for it. I don't know. Let's see here. South of Seal Tower, area guarded by Glorious Boer. Seal Tower. Let's see here. South of it. Area guarded by Glorious Boer. What the heck is this? Is it a... Um, is a unique monster we found at level 45 south of the Sealed Tower on Black Mountain on a plateau by the steep of paths separating the Sealed Tower area from the snowfield to the south. What, this? This plateau? Approximately halfway between the Sealed Tower and Lala's church, so that's this here. So it is this thing here. I was already there, and I didn't get any, any ice cabbages. And the last place that it can spawn is Antolden, and I was there earlier, anyway. So I think I gotta reload the area. I think I gotta set it back tonight. Maybe I'll even do, like, a freaking cycle like this. Maybe I'll move away. I don't know, freaking high into a tomb. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Apparently I'm also missing an item from the high into a tomb. Apparently. Bam, we went all the way to the high end here too. Alright, let's see here. Let's go through this all again. North of Nagel Waterfall, starting from the ice elements of Ether Deposit, head for the passage that slopes upward. Turn left. It's this thing here. My oh my. What areas have I not like what landmark slash area do I not have in Vlak Mountain yet? Considering this whole thing isn't yet mapped out. I wonder what I'm missing. Oh, come on, stupid slopes. <laughs> come on. Yeah, so hopefully that made everything respawn. I might need to reload the game if things didn't respawn. I'm not sure exactly how to get the... Get the collectibles to respawn. Hmm. Please don't see me. Thank goodness you're blind. Thank goodness for that, I suppose. Up this way. I've been streaming now for like two and a half hours. Just running around Vlak Mountain. My goodness. My oh my. Literally just running around Vlak. My oh my. Oh my oh my oh my. Wait, it's, I forgot to set it to night again. Dang it, I was gonna fast travel and then set it to night and I'm freaking... I might need, I might need to reload the game. Will that make things respawn? I don't know how to make freaking collectibles respawn. I don't know, let's see. Let's see, will this make collectibles respawn for me? Or do I actually have to go and do like other things for a while? What must I do is the question. Hmm. Hmm. Moment of truth. Please have the collectibles respawn, and please have an ice cabbage. I beg of thee. This is also we can plant some more freaking trees or whatever the heck in Colony 6, because it's for another nature level. All for freaking Colony 6 trees or whatever the heck. My oh my. Please have the collectibles respawn. That would be great. Oh heck yeah! Come on, ice cabbage. First one wasn't, but the second one also wasn't. Oh man, well, hold on. Let's see here, a wide area of the caves southeast of Bagnar Snowfield. Hold on, southeast of Bagnar Snowfield. Oh yeah, it's that bit. 
This is what it is. So it'll be faster if I go this way, probably. Sometimes I wish there were more landmarks for me to fast travel to. Let's just do a quick face plant. Don't mind me. Don't mind my quick face plant. I'll get things along the way. Because maybe one of them will be an ice cabbage, even if it's really low spawn rate. Considering the areas where it's, you know, at its best is 6%. And those are the areas that I'm going to. Yes, Kraken. Well, let's, um... Hmm. Hmm. Me, my mic is stiffle. So I have that ballistics range in your muscle memory? What, from that time that I streamed three houses with the DLC paralogs? Man, that tower in the distance is so beautiful. It is so beautiful, man. Wait, this isn't the cave. Over here is the cave. So it's the wide area of this cave. And this is also where I found my first ice cabbage. Maybe I'll have luck again. Maybe, maybe. Maybe I'll have the same luck again? 6%. 6% chance? Hmm. Oh, there's no enemies here. I don't have to walk slowly. Wait, you have nearly everything in three hours in, in muscle memory? Jeez. But I don't think muscle memory is the right term, though, because muscle memory is, you know, you actually doing things physically, like movements and such. So, you know, the range of a ballista in three houses, I don't think is muscle memory exactly. Um, and let's see here. A um, pool of water that's only accessible by jumping off Three Sage Summit. Guess I'll jump off Three Sage Summit. Yeah, long-term memory. <laughs> Confusing terms. Because, yeah, muscle memory would not be... Not be that for remembering Ballista range in three houses. Yoink. So, apparently, Ice Cabbages could potentially spawn in here. So yeah, pool of water that's only accessible by jumping off Three Sage Summit. Okay, so there's a collectible here. There's two of them. That's not a... Not an ice cabbage. That's also not an ice cabbage. Um, south of Jack Geezer, look for the slight concave in the wall. I wish this was a fast travel point right here. Guess I'll go this way. Uh, I don't think I need to explore that corner. That's probably not an area. This whole thing probably just counts as, like, the geezer kind of area. Geezer, geyser, I literally have no idea how it's pronounced. There's some terms I just can never get the hang of. But I know exactly how to use that ballista and can manipulate the AI whenever you want to get anything you desire. What, are you saying that's why it's muscle memory? Because you know exactly how to use the ballista? Okay, that is still not... Still not an ice cabbage, though. Hmm. Yes, gotcha, gotcha. So this little concave bit in the wall over here could potentially spawn ice cabbages, apparently. It can potentially do so. What is this heart for heart for? We need freaking Max Affinity with Shulk and Ricky. I've seen barely any of the heart to hearts in my previous playthroughs, because you actually have to build up the affinity so much. It's crazy. Okay, so one of these could maybe be ice cabbages. Game will tell you if it is one, though. What, ice cabbages? Well, it tells me when I pick it up. Which they're not right now. Yeah, those aren't it. So let's see here. Southeast of Ignea Hill from the ice... So it's like... It's this thing, I think. Hmm. I am doing Colony 6 Reconstruction. Is a thing. And Ari told me when I got my first one. I already have one. Is the case. Look, I have one. I have one singular ice cabbage. I need one more. But I do have one in my inventory at the moment. So I could literally 100% the Collectopedia for Vlack Mountain. Is they give side quests? Yeah. Oh, I see what you mean now with the game telling me if it's one. I got you now. At first I was like, yeah, it tells me when I pick it up. What you mean? Yeah, for Colony 6. Indeedly do. Guess I'll yoink these items while I'm here. Yoink. Yoink. These are not the things that I need. Man, I'm gonna have so many freaking Falak Mountain freaking collectibles at the end of this. I still need two more ice cabbages. I need one for the Collectopedia and one more for Colony 6. Like, I might just not complete the Collectopedia for Falak Mountain until, like, 
way late game. Considering you can trade for it in way late game. So I may just do that because holy heck is the ice cabbage annoying to get. Because holy heck, man. Like, if my Switch was hacked or something like that, I pretty much never cheat in games, but I could see myself cheating for ice cabbages. Because otherwise, it's literally just running around until you, like, randomly get this super low spawn rate thing. So, I mean. Yes, we'll just keep doing exactly that right now. Oh, no! I can't make it back up there, can't. My strength is fading. Yeah, I can see myself cheating for cabbages. Maybe I just won't worry about this one right now. Wait, I never went for the south of Seal Tower area guarded by the freaking... Oh yeah, it's that one there. I never went there because I was there earlier. But now I can check it again. Now I can, I suppose. Let's see. Let's uh, see. My oh my. But yeah, I could definitely see myself cheating for cabbages of the freaking ice variety. Of the ice variety, the cabbages. Just like PVZ2. My oh my. We've seen so much for Lack Mountain. Because I've been here for like nearly three hours now. There's a running around. Exploring, doing side quests, and getting cabbages. At least we got another another skill tree thing with Dumban while we were here. Yeah, getting the switch back should be pretty nice. That should be nice. Also, speaking of sending switch in, I wonder if Nintendo's doing still doing the thing where it's like you're sending your Joy-Cons a fixed drift because my gray Joy-Cons have Joy-Con drift and it kind of sucks. Uh, could you not maybe? Could you maybe not? Yeah, that is the exit to that one landmark over there, methinks. Okay, so this is the right area. Oh! Freaking look! Ice cabbage! Pog! Yo! Woohoo! Hey! Oh! We got a freaking ice cabbage! You have backup Joy Cons in case they drift again? Yeah, I have other Joy Cons on my console right now, but I like my gray ones. Look, I got you freaking ice cabbages. Look, also you can plant trees. It's literally also you can plant trees. I ran around like an idiot until I got two ice cabbages. Also, you can plant some more trees. Oh, some flowers it looks like. I don't know what you use the ice cabbages for, but apparently it had to do with planting flowers. Do do do, nature level increased by one. The flowers have been planted on the main street. The mines ether crystals have gone up in rank. My goodness, pain. Pain, man. I hate ice cabbages. I hate them so much. My oh my. You say I'm not a believer of the PogChamp religion? Check your DMs, it's a meme you created it? What? He what? Oh, in freaking Civ, you created a religion called PogChampism? See, whenever I play Civilization, whenever I create a religion, I just call it hashtag deep. This is what I do. Whenever I, whenever I create a freaking religion in Civilization 6, I call it hashtag deep. And I spread hashtag deep around the world. Anyway. Now I, now I don't have the ice cabbage here anymore. I don't believe in Pogchampism. What, because I got freaking ice cabbages? Hold on. Mute microphone and sniffle. What's listen to hint anyway? Oh, about, like, where to get the things. Level 2 complete. Um. Oh, there's still going to be more people who want to move here now. I said poggers. Yeah, because I was happy about getting the thing. Where'd my blue ladybird go? I thought I had one of those before. Anyway, let's try to finish off level 3 while we're here, I guess. Oh, man. Let's see here. Colony 6 reconstruction. So, for commerce... For commerce to level 3, we need two blue ladybirds. Apparently, oh, apparently it's a, it's a high Entia tomb collectible. Let's see here. Or I can trade it in Alchemoth if I have 4 star affinity with Upper Bionis, which I almost certainly don't. Oh, I have 3 stars. I'm missing one. So I can't, <laughs> I can't trade it. Oh, man. 
Does Shulk really like those three that much already? Wait, give gift? I've never done this before. Hold on. Does Shulk really have max affinity with those guys? Hold on. I didn't think he did. Oh yeah, because there's one level higher. That's not maxed. I was so confused for a hot second. I've literally never done this before. Hold on. The heck is this? I can give gift? Hold on. Give gifts, give light? That's a way to give get affinity between party members, yes. Huh. Oh! Does he not like it? Does he like it? I don't get it. Um, This is your number two favorite game of all time. He does not like it. Okay, that's all it means. <laughs> Can I look up what things characters like? Xenoblade Chronicles. Okay, I've never done this before. Xenoblade Chronicles gifts. Can I find this like on the Xenoblade wiki? Presents. Are collectibles in Xenoblade Chronicles that are given from one party member to another party member? Each item may have different affinity results, ranging from negative 20 to 30. Uh, generally, each party member tends to prefer a certain category of items and dislike another. While giving an unwanted gift may lower the affinity between two characters, any acquired skill links may be retained. Huh, so I guess you can use that if you do want to decrease affinity for some reason. Um, best and worst gifts. So let's see here. For Ricky, he likes moth crawlers. Uh, moth crawler, rubber mantis. Mm. Moth crawler or rubber mantis, huh? Um. Hmm. He likes moth crawlers, apparently. Oh. Okay. Uh. Likes a whole bunch of things that I don't recognize, so I probably don't have them. Okay. Well, Melia to Sharla. So what does Sharla like? Apparently she likes hell raspberry, sour gooseberry, fire apple, spicy nut. Oh, I got so many freaking fire apples from freaking the Valak Mountain. Oh, yeah, there's a whole bunch here. Okay, well, we got a whole bunch of stuff there, I guess. Um, sour gooseberry. I think I got a bunch of those from there, too. Oh, there's... No, I'm thinking of sour grape, apparently. Sour gooseberry, huh? Wait, can I sort by, like, alphabetical or something? Name? Aha! So, let's see here. Do I have any hell raspberries? This will speed things up, won't it? Uh, I don't have any hell raspberries. Do I have any sour gooseberries? I've never hopped into this before. I do have sour gooseberries right here. Okay, um... Do I have any spicy nuts? Right here. Yeah, it seems like there's always something more to learn when it comes to Xenoblade Chronicles. Like, my oh my. I'm about to shulk. Let's see here. So, he likes... Blue chain, apparently. Uh, he also likes winding gear. Uh, he also likes popper's cup. Oh, I only have the one, though. Um, he also likes digital filament. Um... I don't have any of those. Uh, he also likes Rainbow Slug. Let's see here. Oh, wait. Rainbow... Yeah, Rainbow Slug, not Rainbow Bug. Apparently. Um, he likes Grape Spring. Guess I don't have any of those. Uh, he likes Shield Bug. He likes Azure Hollycock. Go up here first, then. Oh, I guess you can see, like... I guess it marks, like... Oh, so it shows, like, question marks, so, like, until you know, like, whether he likes it or not. That's pretty cool. That's pretty interesting, actually. Uh, I don't have any of those Azure things, do I? 
Yeah, I don't. Uh, and then shield bug. Ah. Dang it, the affinity still didn't even go up anyway. My oh my. Sure, I don't know. What about what about Rain? He likes energy aubergine? The heck? I don't have any of those. Um, he likes spicy cabbage. Thank goodness it's not freaking ice cabbage, because I he'd never be getting one of those things as a gift. But he likes spicy cabbage though. Okay. Um, he likes meaty potato, so he likes his food things. Um, I guess I don't have any of those. He likes hunger crash. Whatever that is. Don't have any. Um, and he likes a meaty carrot. Um, I guess I don't have any of those. Um... I don't know, we could see about Dunban, I suppose. So he likes Prairie Dragonfly. Also, there's this thing called Love Source. Where do I get this from? Um, are collectibles in Xenoblade Chronicles? They're in the other category. They're only they are the only collectibles that, if gifted to any recipient, will form four hearts of affinity. They can be acquired by trading with somebody in Colony 6. Okay, but you need freaking five star affinity in Colony 6 for it. Okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, Prairie Dragonfly. Let's see here. Wait, where's freaking... Sometimes I forget. Okay. Sometimes I forget the freaking order of the alphabet. Don't mind me. Just freaking give Dumban all the dragonflies. How about Melia? I don't know. Um, death bangle. He likes death bangles. Whatever the heck that is. Something I don't have. Oh no, I have a few of it. He likes blue gear shard. Um, he likes gold condenser. Um, I don't think I have any of those. He likes angel engine Y. Wait, that would be like way up. What am I doing? Yeah, I don't know. What if we do... What is Melia like? Because Melia is the one person that I haven't been giving gifts to since Melia was the one giving gifts. She likes Dober Corgis. I'm pretty sure I have a few of those, don't I? I'm fairly certain. Uh, Dober Corgi. I have a few at least. Um, Chimera Rabbit. Aha! She likes Amnethyst Melon. I don't have an Amnethyst Melon. Uh, Prism Centipede. Um, I don't have any Prism Centipedes. Um, and Purple Lamp. I don't have that either. Okay, well. Okay. But yeah, I don't have... What was I doing again? I was looking for something here. But now we have more skill links from all the gift giving. Yeah, we have a thing with Sharla here. Increases agility. Nice. Ooh, increases ether. I'll have that actually. Sounds like a good idea. Let's see here. And yeah, since you got something with Melia, increase the HP received from healing arts. Nice. I'll take it. And then Ricky has, whoops, one with Melia now too. Can't really use anything though. I mean, because he's used up all his skill points and such. Yeah, I'll probably just leave it as is. Myth thinks for now. So, what was I looking for again? Let's see here. When it comes to the collectibles, what is next? Oh, we got an achievement. Fruitful gifts. All right. Reconstruct. I need two. Oh, yeah. I was looking for that thing. Hold on a hot second. Hold on. Yeah. Blue ladybird. So I can't trade with it in Alakamoth because I don't have the four star affinity that I need there. So... Yeah, I need blue laborers from High Anti Tomb. They can be found from any spawn points. The following location has the highest spawn rate, 20% for blue labored, which is first basement floor, the southern room. Okay, guess we're going to High Anti Tomb. In that case. So, first basement floor. Ah, first basement floor, like here. The southern room. 
Wait, southern room and first basement floor. Okay, so I'm looking for blue ladybirds. I don't see any collectibles over here. So southern room, so down there. Okay. Okay. At least it's not like freaking ice cabbages where I'm going to be here for like ever trying to find them. Hopefully, at least. Hopefully it's not like that. But yeah. Like how you handle your self-advertisement channel? What, with people being able to post stuff, but only if they're, uh... Like, they if they're in certain roles? Well, basically, when it comes to people being able to post, like, self-advertisements, they need to be a role higher than at everybody. Meaning they need to, like, you know, either be, like, a streamer friend, or a VIP, or a... Or a sub, or I've given bits, or whatever the heck. So basically not just some random... Apparently I have to kill you for a quest. So just not so rent not some random Joe Schmo can just come along and post their stuff. Is the idea. Like I have, I've had people that don't have any rules apart from at everybody ask me where they can advertise and I was like, there's self-advertisement, but sorry, you uh you need to roll higher than at everybody, and then like, oh <laughs> like So there are definitely some people who would use it otherwise, but I think it's best to have it as people who are like, you know actually a part of things with the channel and such that actually have, you know, roles higher than add everybody. You had someone advertise their own Discord server to get people in there? Yeah, I don't like when people just see, like, the opportunity of joining as many Discord servers as possible just to, like, have more places to put, like, their links to their own servers or their own Twitch channels, stuff like that, that just want to, you know, that just want to be in as many discord servers as possible and spam their link in as many places that's why i only let people post it who are like actually involved with things there i figure my oh my many people are too nice what do you mean by that when it comes like when it comes to self-advertising like do you mean by people like creating the opportunity for people to advertise their stuff and people exploiting that what you mean Boobie bop. gotcha gotcha yeah, I figure, I figure it shouldn't, I figure people being able to advertise themselves in, like, my own community and stuff like that shouldn't be available for, like, anybody to join and just do it. It should be somebody who, like, has done at least something around the community. So literally any role higher than at everybody can post there. It doesn't matter what role it is, literally anybody who is just not, like, at everybody, at everyone, sorry, can do it. Well, let's look around for these freaking blue ladybirds, I guess. There wasn't one in that southern room. Yoink. I'm getting a whole bunch of green diodes. Getting a whole bunch of those. Uh, yoink. Still not the things that I need, though. Hmm. Um, guess I'll keep on collecting collectibles. I don't need it to be nighttime anymore. Oh, I would hop down if this collectible wasn't here. But now that I got it, maybe I'll- Oh, that's one blue ladybird. Nice. Just need one more. That's a green earwig. I just need one more blue ladybird, though. Unless I picked one up without even realizing it. Uh, no, I need one more. Just one more. Thank goodness they're nowhere near as rare as, like, freaking ice cabbages. They're still semi-rare, but, like... They're not ice cabbages. I hate ice- I hate ice cabbages so much. My oh my. You were thinking about setting it up before, what, for your own Discord server? Where somebody needs, like, a role higher than at everybody to be able to post or something? Boop, that's not what I needed. Not quite. But it can always be nice to have more collectibles in the inventory, I suppose. Hmm. There's some things over there. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know if I want to do the climb spots just to get the collectibles. I guess I'll explore over this way while I get that collectible. Is the case. But I mean, I also have a lot of roles in my Discord server is also the thing. Like, there are so many roles. And there might become even more roles if I... If I add YouTube membership soon to my YouTube channel. So there may become even more roles soon. That's yoink that. It's not what I needed. But it hopefully it shouldn't take me too much longer to find another one of these blue ladybirds. Ooh, that was close. I jumped a little bit early. Oh, I could have just made it across. I didn't even need to climb. Whoops. 
Whoops. I'm silly, I guess. My goodness. Tower of Trials Bridge. My oh my. Wait. Have I not been over here? What is this, anyway? Hmm. So, apparently the best spawn rate is in, like, this room over here. So, I might just fast travel over here. Maybe reload the game again. Is what I may do. To try and get another one of those blue ladybirds. Might be a good idea. So, I saved. But, yeah. Still... Wait, I'm still- I assume that's supposed to be salty? You got lucky with the boss here? What, in the high end tier 2? What do you mean I got lucky? After decreasing my level so much. Ah! My joints! That's what happens when I stretch my arms sometimes. I wouldn't say lucky. Whoa! You had to beat it at level 43? Well, just get good, nerd! Huh, <laughs> got him! No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Was it too nice for me? Was it now? This is also like my fourth or fifth playthrough or something like that. I lose count. Like, it's my first time with the Definitive Edition, but I mean. But I mean. And my second time potentially trying to 100% it. Except I failed my last time because timed quests and I wasn't paying enough attention. Yeah, I could go this way first and then like loop around to that bottom room. Maybe. But now all the collectibles respawn by restarting the game. Uh, yoink. Hopefully I got the thing. Uh, yoink. Oh, maybe I'll get this room quickly. Maybe I'll get the edges first. I don't know. Okay, there's a collectible in here. Yoink. But yeah. You almost beat it a third time on the 3DS. That's a whole lot of times. Oh, I guess I'll go there later. Because apparently this bottom room is like the best spawn point for it. Apparently. I didn't even get it in the bottom room last time I got it in like some hallway or something. I just need a blue ladybird. And then I can go improve colony 6 even more. Excuse me, I need this. It's not what I need actually. Because I didn't need it after all. I guess not. That's also not what I need. Apparently the best spawn rate is in this room according to this site. And it still wasn't what I needed. Apparently it only has like a spawn rate of 20% in that room though. So it's still a decently rare collectible. Which is kind of annoying, but what you gonna do? Speedrun strats! My oh my. Boop. So think about how to approach a combat on your Breath of the Wild video, you did watch all of it. It's definitely a whole lot of information. And I appreciate you taking the time to watch that, because that's- a Hey, a blue ladybird! Because that is, you know, a hella long video. It's kind of really long- whoops. Whoopsie doopsie. Let's go to... Colony 6 is what we do. But yeah, don't do it for most people, but for your friends who do anything. Well, I appreciate it then. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of information when it comes to that video, so there's a whole lot of whole lot of stuff. Like that video took like two months to make. It was insane. Alright, I can repair some things. Reconstruct. We can reconstruct commerce. Wait, I got three blue ladybirds? I must have picked up another one along the way and not even realized. Dang. Look at that. Commerce level 3. Heck yeah. Look at that. Do do do. Six shops have been built. A new shop is available in Colony 6. It just said six shops. I assume that's for the guests. There's only one available. Available to me. May not even do a full comment on it. Just something short or something. Just because you don't think you can digest it all. Yeah, it's a whole lot. I need one more squall element. Two snow elements. And I have plenty of lemonade skies already. So let's see here. So special. Let's get everything up to level 3. So, oh, I do have 3 stars for Alchemoth. And I can trade with somebody in there. I can trade with a Nopon. Oh, it's a freaking drinking Nopon. I can get a Squall Element from an Alchemoth. Let's see here. Alchemoth. He's by the entrance, right? Uh, He's in Alchemoth Fountain of Hope. Wait. Or Frontier Village. Oh, I guess that's like much later. He must move to like Frontier Village or something. So, let's see here. So, he's out at night, it looks like. This Nupon. I think he was by like the main entrance, wasn't he? 
I think. Apparently he's near the Fountain of Hope. Okay, so he's apparently out at night, so let's change the time. Thank goodness for Xenoblade Wookie. I think he's over here, actually, isn't he? I think the game's lying. I think he's closest to the main entrance. But yeah, how we'll say the tangents are a little too long, too long of examples of music is kind of nitpicky from the game design standpoint, as consumers think a little differently, but still a good video. I was just, I just wanted to get in depth on why I view things the way that I do. Not necessarily on why I think other people should view things like the the same way why it's super important from a game design standpoint. It was mostly to explain my own, like the reasons for my own thingamabobs. Oh, maybe he is by the Fountain of Hope. Maybe it wasn't lying after all. Or the freaking sight, sorry. Yeah, maybe he is by the freaking Fountain of Hope. <laughs> Dang. My oh my. So he's over here somewhere, I guess. He's one of these little things. A knob one that I can trade with to get a squall element. So, that's not him. Uh, that's not him. That's him. Oh, that's why I was getting confused, because I was thinking of this elevator, I think. That's why I was getting confused. So, let's trade with you. Let's see here. Off of one of the things is literally called, ha ha Okay, Squall Element. Yeah, it is meant to be an opinion thing. It is definitely the case. I'll just give you, like, freaking, I don't know, red lettuce. There you go. There we go. Now I got the squall element. So now the other thing that I need is all I need is snow element. Hopefully I can trade with somebody. Um, it's like you with jablogs and poke with Pokemon trainer. What do you mean? My jablogs with Pokemon trainer are like hella inconsistent. What you mean? Uh, I can apparently trade. Oh, I'm looking at that. So apparently I can trade with Yura on Valak Mountain as an overtrade. My oh my. Yeah, this is a handy menu to have. Um, so I could go after Reef Nebulas in Falak Mountain, or I could trade with Yura in, oh wait, but only on Falak Mountain as an overtrade, and he only goes to Falak Mountain way later, he's normally in Elkamoth. Dang, so I actually have to go after Reef Nebulas in Falak Mountain. Dang. I drop Snow Elements, let's see here. Hmm. Saying your search for jab logs literally impress you sometimes. I always gotta get them jab logs. What are the drop rates for these things? Um, let's see here. Like, not the worst drop rate for snow element, but not the best either. It's like a 20% drop. Hmm. Hmm. Still gotta wait for that switch to get back in then. Let's see. So I guess Reef Nebula up here all the way down the mountain. One can be found by exiting the Seal Tower and turning right. Three or four Reef Nebula can be found at Nuffle Tower. Okay. Yeah, I heard that they changed down B in some way. So where is... Wait, no, where's Nuffle Tower? Oh, wait. Hold on. Three or four Reef Nebula can be found at Nuffle Tower. Well, it's not a landmark that I can go to. Where the heck is Nuffle Tower? What the heck? It is a landmark. Whoa, 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 wait. Jeez, I'm freaking blind. My goodness. So apparently a few can be found here. Yeah, so I need snow elements from these guys. I need two of them. Too bad I can't trade for it until like... You know, super late game. Too bad I can't do that. Whoa, the ice though! My goodness. Good old ice physics. So apparently when it comes to a wood chest, it has like a 20% chance of snow elements, so... You know, fingers crossed, I guess. Fingers crossed we got the thing I need. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the ice physics can be wacky but fun. They can certainly be something. Boobity bop. Um, can I get the other dudes to join in? There's one. There's one to join in. Alright, let's take you out before you explode or anything. There we go. So there's a 20% chance that that chest has what I need. Can I target you? Can I just smack you to get you into the battle too? Fine, I'll use one of my elementals. Oh, there we go. 
Okay, I'll put one of them to sleep. Okay, boobity bop. Oh, nice for the freaky sliding inspiration. Yeah, the ice is certainly something, isn't it? It's certainly something wacky. Oh, there goes Charla sliding. Sliding across, my goodness. Oh, you could use some inspiration, couldn't you? Do some quick expiration. My oh my. Wonder Punch? What? Is that a reference to something? Oh, looks like I got some. A little pick me up. Think about Wonderful 101. Gotcha. Oh, I could give Charlotte some inspiration. There we go. Let's just inspire her quickly. I'm gonna have to inspire. Right. Oh, there goes Charla. <laughs> Way sliding. But yeah, you gotta be ready your first Steam review. What with the Wonderful 101? Okay, booby bop. Oh, I don't actually have to inspire him anymore. Oh, now I do. Yeah, it is wonderful 101. Gotcha. All right, there's another chest. And it has a 20% chance of having the thing that I need. So a small chance. Hmm. Well, I'll get good before you reviewed it. Yeah, I don't think I've ever done a Steam review before. I don't think I have. Ah, freaking inspiration. But yeah. Are you, but you are good, but not great or amazing. That's like me with Breath of the Wild in a nutshell. I mean, it depends on your classification of great as a, as a freaking bullet time bouncing across the world and trying to bomb launch myself. Depends on what your freaking definition of great is. <laughs> you know. Okay, I need a bunch of elemental things. My oh my. I don't know, let's just do this. Dang it, that one exploded. No drops from that one, I guess. Come on, snow elements. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Yeah, healing gift does not seem very good, as far as I can tell. Doesn't seem all that good. I may well swap it off. Well, this is probably gonna be annoying trying to get these snow elements, isn't it? Most likely. Hoyle. Let's just keep on shredding off its health, I guess. Just keep on shredding it off. But yeah, you don't have Melia's moves off memory unless you can remember it. Well, neither do I. That makes two of us. That makes two of us then. Okay, please don't explode. Okay, cool. Please have a snow element. Dang it. Dang it. Shoot him in the head. What did I say? Okay, you do know which ones are good when you see them. That's like me with several things. That's like me with a few things. We're on Prison Island now. And now we go back to the thing. And we go back to the tower. Welcome to Prison Island! Yeah! Let's leave it now. <laughs> now we leave, and then we come back, and the enemies should be back. Yep! They sure are. Oh, ice. Oh, ice in this game. Like, I could always try going with three elements and taking off the other things. Is what I could do. Could always do. Just like the most essential buffs. Maybe, maybe. Sliding Slinger. My, oh my. How to recreate Sliding Slinger in Xenoblade Chronicles 1. Ice physics. Good old Sliding Slinger. My goodness. Well, in these days, maybe I'll do a proper playthrough of Xenoblade Chronicles X on stream. Like, it actually started as one of my first playthroughs I ever did on this channel. But, like, I never finished it. Dang it. I never finished it, so I'd have to start from the beginning. Actually, I would have to start from the beginning, because where is it? Because my freaking... My save data for Xenoblade Chronicles X is on this, which is, you know, kind of screwed. It used to be a USB stick, but... So even if I wanted to continue my playthrough that I started, like, two and a half years ago, I couldn't. I would have to start from the beginning. But yeah, Xenoblade X is great with gameplay. Oh, hold the phone there. You're missing something. It's great with music, too. The music of it. It's different, but it's still good. The music is, mm, it's really something. Like, I could listen to... Yeah, the at first I thought you were saying, like... Because there's some people that say that only the gameplay of Xenoblade X is good. And story and music suck. Like, the music's different. But it's still good. Okay, glad you're, glad you're not saying that. Glad we can agree on that. Yeah, I don't know what they were thinking when it came to the story. Considering it was like... 
if you, why end it with a freaking cliffhanger? Like, it wasn't incredible, but it was good enough to at least engage me through. But then they just ended on a cliffhanger, as if there'd be some Xenoblade Chronicles X2. But now it's been like five years, and now it's like, what the heck? Anyway, what was I about to do? But yeah, only gameplay you can easily say you hate is the final boss. Yep. Yep, I, I cheesed over the final boss with a skull after a lot of grinding. <laughs> That's all I did. I freaking cheesed it over with a high level skull that I did a cheese method of grinding for to get like one of the stronger skulls for the, for the final boss. Oh yeah, I was going to rearrange Millie's arts. That's what it was. So let's see here. Can I just remove everything? And then we can start fresh. How about? Well, you spent weeks trying to beat it. I spent like a few days trying to beat it. And then I went into like this one mine location that had like collectibles all over the place. And I just hopped into my skull vehicle and started collecting them all. Because once you get 99 of something and it starts going over 99, they just start automatically selling it. So I started doing loops and loops, getting all these collectibles that just contributed to my money in the game. Until eventually I could buy a skull that let me just, was strong enough to just cheese over the whole thing. That's how I did the freaking final boss. Um, let's see here. But if you die on the real final boss, they have no skull to deal with the whole pot. Yeah. I mean, during the final, final boss, he takes away all your fuel anyway, so you can't use skulls. Yeah, as you run out of fuel, as I was just saying. Uh, but you can get in a quick hit here and there, because his skull fuel, like, can regenerate over time. So, like, you can, in theory, hop into the skull from time to time and get one hit in here and there. Yeah, I'll do agility, I'll do summon copy, and then what do I want for the last one? Maybe increase ether. Yeah, it, it's... I don't really like the final boss of Xenoblade X a whole lot. Let's see, let's see here. I might do Summon Bolt for increasing Aether to make Melia stronger. Is what I might do. Maybe, maybe. Hmm, I could also do Reduce Physical Damage. Wait, the cooldown on that is 76 seconds. Cooldown is 13.5 seconds, jeez. But yeah, um... Make sure that is on the left. I can help you with arts. What, do you want all my elementals to be on the left? Because I was thinking, what if I have my elementals at the center? Because that way, I can just, like, play around with this area here while chaining it into, like, the middle art. It might be more convenient. I feel like it might be a little bit more convenient that way if all those are, like, in the center. I'm thinking. This is my idea. Makes it easier that way, trust me. What if it's all on the left? Because I kind of like the idea of it being in the... In the center, honestly, rather than all on the left. Um, as for these other things, we do have... I'll turn this off so you can see the stats and stuff. Throw an enemy back, physical attack, and a devastating kick. Uh, and forces topple after spear break. Like, we could always have these two to, like, chain into each other. Actually, if I put these on, I probably want it on, like, this side. Is the case. I do like having those next to each other like that. And then for the other ones, I'll probably have Mind Blast. Because I think that... Um, yeah, it removes ores as well, which is quite nice. And then for the last one, probably hypnotize is what I'd probably go with for when there's multiple enemies at once. Because multiple enemies at once. Mind Blast one of the other purple arts. Yeah, I'm thinking hypnotize is what I'm leaning towards. Because then if there's multiple enemies, then I can just, like, not worry about the last one until later. Like, I'm thinking something like that. Like, that looks way cleaner for Melee's arts than what I had before. I could always do something like this. This, look, this actually looks like a pretty clean setup, honestly. Is what it looks like. I could level up some arts. Like, I can level up Hypnotize a little bit. Work on your balance of discharging? I don't know what that means. I don't actually know what that means. I will save you a lot. I don't know what it means. Well, I still need two more of the snow elements. My talent art discharge? I have no idea how it even works. I just see it charge up here and there sometimes. I guess I'll do a bunch of things. I hate these things too, Ryan. That's the case. Yeah, I know I discharge them. I don't know what effects, like, when it's building up and stuff. And what and being built up even does for me. I understand, like, nothing. So, is this force topple? Like, okay, it does just straight up force topple like that. Cool. Okay, well. Let's do this. It's about not gaining aggro. Yeah, I'm not trying to gain aggro. Not trying to. Hmm. As once Melly has aggro, she dies super quick. Yeah, she's very much a glass cannon for sure. Boobity bop. So I can see all the buffs on the on the side there. Boobity bop. Boobity bop. I can put your friend to sleep. Like that. And we can do like 
Dang it, he freaking exploded. No loot for me. I was literally about to go back. And then... Dang it. Well, no loot for me on that one, I guess. That sure sucks. That sure sucks, doesn't it? Okay, freaking encourage. My oh my. Okay, boobity bob discharge things. Yeah, this setup for arts might actually be pretty nice. May well be. Let's do this and then we force topple. Like that. How about? Neat, neat. If you focus on not gaining aggro, then you should be good. Well, too late for that, I guess. Um, <laughs> okay, let's just spam the rest of my elementals I have. Is there any other one of these dudes? Okay, it looks like... Dang it, still didn't get the thing that I needed. Still didn't. Like, I believe I still need two of them, right? Yeah, I still need two snow elements. Let's see here. How about we go back to Prison Island, actually? If you have the aggro focus on build summons and let your tank get the aggro. Wait, basically, if you have your aggro focus on build summons and let your tank get the aggro. Wait, what do you mean? Wait, if you have aggro focus on build summons. I'm not sure what that means, actually. I'm sorry to say. Let's go back to Nuffle Tower. I do very much want to... Wait... I think I might understand what you're saying now that I'm thinking about it. Like, just focusing on getting, like, the buffs and such from my summons rather than dealing big damage. Is that what you mean? Like, focus on letting, like, my tank and such do the damage while I just basically pass buffs out to the party more often than not? Okay, if I get closer, I should be able to do this. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So I can force topple like that. Gotcha, gotcha in that case. Oop. I'll just spam damage now, because these dudes are super weak anyway. I don't want them to explode. They're not doing a whole lot of damage to me if I have aggro anyway, I figure. So, ah uh, well. Ah <laughs> uh, well, I suppose. Don't use chain attacks until you have three summons. What, for like, after the chain attack's over? Like, I don't even know how to properly use chain attacks with Melia. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. For not after the chain attack. I'm getting confused with, like, Shulk things. You mean so I can just use this during chain attacks? Like that. Uh, may as well use sword drive during chain attacks. Hmm. Hmm. That resets the art color? Oh, I don't know about freaking art color stuff during chain attacks. Isn't there the thing where it does extra damage where, like, you use the same color multiple times in the chain attack? Because I don't remember. <laughs> I could, because I never focus on that part of chain attacks. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah, isn't there the thing where it's like you use the same color and then it, you know, it gives you extra damage or something? I don't remember. Like, that part of chain attacks, I feel like I never properly understood. I feel like. Yeah, let's go ahead and do spear break into starlight kick. If you use talent art while it acts as a white color, that allows you to change it to art color. What do you mean, change it to art color? Like, does it just, is it just like a freaking rainbow card where it just defaults to whoever does like the next thing? So would it have counted as red for like, rain doing red next? I have no idea how it works. <laughs> I actually have no idea. It does? So it is like a freaking rainbow kind of card then. Okay. So by me doing red with Ryan and then red with Sharla. That was good like that. I, did I do a good thing? Do I do a big brain thing? Maybe, maybe. I you have red then red. Yeah, so I have red on Ryan and then it's Sharla. Ah, snow element. There's my first one. Are there not, a, and not any more dudes right now? Yeah, but we didn't extend it anyway because like these guys don't like each other a whole lot yet, I guess. <laughs> not quite yet. I hear noises over there. I don't know what's going on. Alright. Welcome back to Prison Island. Goodbye, Prison Island. <laughs> Goodbye, Prison Island. Nice to visit you briefly, I guess. My, oh my. So, you use talent art. You can change the color to what the next chain art should be. So, it is just like a kind of rainbow card. It is whatever the next thing is in that case. And it does more damage when it's like the same colors into one another. Alright, let's do a whole bunch of buff things. Is what we do. We can do... Oh, poor Ryan. Let's do Spear Break into Starlight Kick. I love that, I love that kick animation, actually. It's like, Falcon Kick! You're gonna head off quickly? Well, I appreciate yourself by hanging out there, Kraken. Hope you have a good rest of the day. 
Un je n'oublie pas. Metal Bolt. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like this definitely feels a bit smoother than... than before, anyway. I feel like this is probably a good art setup for Melia. Most likely. Alright, bam! Falcon Kick! Ooh, and we got Daze out of it. Nice. Nice, nice. Boop. Melia, get in there! Come on, snow element. Dang it. Yeah, I like being able to hear these unique, like, party interactions. How there's always, like, some special post-battle dialogue for, like, every combination of three. I quite like that. I think that's pretty neat. Okay, boobity bop. Let's do spear break into starlight kick. How about falcon kick? How about falcon kick? Oh, I need to discharge an elemental. This is what I better do. And then just like spam a whole bunch of these. And hope that I get a snow element. Hi, I ended up taking an admin crew battle, but we won 8 0. You weren't needed? Lame. So, what you were telling me is you didn't take off 15 stocks like I said you needed to to not get banned. Unbelievable. Guess you just gotta get banned in that case. Guess Carby is gonna be banned from the stream. He didn't take off 15 stocks. Bye bye. Hey, it looks like Shuck is now number three on the bit leaderboards. It's not even Britterson anymore. I apparently haven't looked at the bit leaderboards in a while. My goodness, it's not even Britterson anymore for the number three spot on the bit leaderboard. Now it's freaking Shuck. So it's Paul and on, then Animo, then Shuck for the top three places on the bit leaderboards. My oh my. Okay, let's pro. <laughs> Hold on, let's type the unban theme Bob. He didn't take off 15 stocks. I can't believe it. He didn't take off 15 stocks during the crew battle. My oh my. Wait, you got a skill. Okay, so, oh, it's skill links. Oh, freaking, these two have another link with each other. Ooh, agility up. Ooh, I'll take that, sure. Wow, I had just enough affinity coins. Let's see here. We don't have enough affinity coins for like any of that. I'll worry about that kind of thing later. I'm going to go to Prison Island again to get these things to respawn. I'm looking for things called snow elements, Carvey. You know any easy way for me to get them? Apart from freaking farming against these guys until I get another one. I got one from them already. I just need one more. Just need one more. One more snow element. And then I think... Will everything in Colony 6 be up to level 3 now? Once I get that? Will it? That's like a Ricky. Maybe Ricky knows where to find some snow elements. Yeah, everything else at level 3. It's just this. I need one more snow element. And then we'll get Colony 6 up to level 3. So I should... Every time you get everything up to another level, you get like some kind of neat reward. I wonder what it is for this one. Freaking, this one keeps running. Two <laughs> that right just ran up. And it's like the freaking big wind up. Hama beat. Boop. Falcon. Kick. Neat. I think that's interesting that they actually buffed Falcon Kick though. <laughs> like with the latest patch and smash. I was about to say, I'm surprised that dude isn't attacking as well, but now he is. Why is Rain discouraged? Hey, there we go. My oh my. Okay, let's go ahead and keep spamming these things, essentially. This is what we do. Let's keep spamming them. I mean, currently in my party, I have two characters that can put opponents to sleep. With Charlotte and Melia. Like, if this was an actual serious party setup instead of just like a joke one to build up affinity, I would definitely change things around. For sure. But yeah, alright, Armonia, what's 2.5 plus 2.5? Why are you asking me this? It's five, but what does this lead up to? What shenanigans have you got to pull? Dang it, it freaking exploded. I'm getting no loot from it. Dang it. What's well, half of five? 2.5? We're just back where we started? Wait, I have three elementals again. Kirby is subscribed with Twitch Prime. They've subscribed for nine months. Oh, that means I gotta give you the freaking nine month sub roll in Discord now, don't I? I gotta give you freaking nine months, don't I? Which is exactly how much you get because of the good old Twitch and streamer cut. You got an emote thanks to Carvia 4 subscription. Oh yeah, because of the like, that weird emote thing that they're doing. Anyway, Carvia coming out of nowhere and subbing with Twitch Prime. Now for nine months, that is a very long time of being subbed. Sometimes if you're lucky, to less than 2.5. Yeah, sometimes it likes to be wonky. Sometimes it likes to be wonky like that. You're not wrong. 
It certainly can be. Thank you so much for the nine months of being subbed, Carvia. I'll be sure to update your role in Discord soon enough. Whoa. Maybe I'll do that now before I forget is the case. In Discord, let's see here. Oh, you already had nine months sub role. What? I'm so confused. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, I guess. Boop. Oh, that was just straight up enough. What a waste of a chain attack. Is this going to be a snow element that I need? Nope. Are there any more nerds over here? Like, maybe... Uh, hmm. Did you maybe sub with nine months last time that you subbed? Because sometimes, depending on the time frame... Sometimes, depending on the time frame, like, if you don't wait longer, sometimes it can just save the same amount of months twice, potentially. So maybe I gave you the nine month sub roll after, like, a stream in the past, potentially. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Well... Enjoy continuing to have your freaking nine month sub roll, I guess. <laughs> Enjoy continuing to have it. Yeah, I think that sounds familiar. Yeah, enjoy continuing to have the nine month sub roll again, essentially. Enjoy having that one more time, and I appreciate you using your prime sub here. I appreciate that, Carvia. Enjoy being subbed, enjoy the sub badge and the emotes and all that fun stuff. And yeah. Enjoy all the wacky stuff, you nerd. Uh oh, not Ice Burst. No, 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 don't exp- Dang it! I hate it when those dudes explode. Who thought it was a good idea to do that? Because the moment they do, you get no experience from the battle. You get no drops from them either. So here I am trying to get snow elements, but you actually have to kill them. You can't let them explode. Who thought it was a good idea to let these dudes explode anyway? It's such a bad idea. Like, my goodness. It's awful. It's straight up awful, honestly. It's just terrible. It's just straight up terrible. Okay, let's do this and then Falcon Kick! Okay, let's see how much damage we do with this all now. We shall see. Do a whole bunch of this. Just keep shredding off health. Ooh, that was a whole bunch. My goodness, was that from me or was that from Ryan? Okay, please don't explode. Please don't explode. Oh, we got a silver chest. Please be a snow element. Please be a snow element. Heck yeah! Let's go to freaking Colony 6. Is what we do. And now we can get everything up to level 3. Look at this. Oh yeah, we got some new shops here from the increased commerce level. We might be able to get some arts manuals, potentially. We might be able to get some arts manuals. Like, Schultz could use some for, say, like, Backslash. So we can start powering that up more. Look at this. We can reconstruct... Special. Let's get that to level through increase special level. Now I'm even more special. I'm even more special than before. Oh, look how pretty it is. There's a fountain now. It's so nice. Do do do. Special level increased by one. A park has been built. You can now get collectibles there. Look at that. Colony six is now completely at level three. There's still a whole bunch of rubble around the whole outside. But we've got so much of it rebuilt now. Street lights have been built for the level 3 bonus. You receive a present from all the residents. Topple plus 4. Nice. I'll take it. Alright. Look at this. So we got Colony 6 all the way up to level 3. It's way more developed. Do you have any arts manuals by chance that I can use? Um, ooh, you do, actually. I'll take that. Yeah, you have a whole bunch of ones for Dunban. Yeah, I'll take these, honestly. I'll take a whole bunch of things, honestly. Um... Yield count is not half bad. Sure. I mean, I do still need funds for more rebuilding efforts, but... There we go. Look at that. Now we can level up all those arts even further. Look at that. Nice. I guess I didn't really need Peerless or Battle Eye yet, but whatever. Whatever. Now we can level those up even further. It's really nice how you don't have to go into your inventory like the original and actually learn the arts manuals directly. Like, that was so silly. It's so nice how after you buy them, the moment you, like, open your arts menu, it's just automatically learned. Oh, hi, Thoron. Yes. Do you like how Colony 6 has been being rebuilt? It's starting to look like a proper colony again. There's still a lot of unused land. We still have a way to go. Yeah, there's still a decent bit of rubble, like, way over there. Okay, do you have arts manuals? Maybe? Um, okay, let's see here. Um, 
<coughs> Sorry. So I guess the star just means you've already learned it. I'd, a healing gift isn't really that good. Uh, I wouldn't mind having thunder on... Same with Soaring Tempest with Dunban. Oh, these aren't actually as expensive as I thought. But maybe I'll just learn them anyway. All the things I don't have, I'll just learn anyway. Just so that we have this available. Mind Blast! Okay, and there's one more, so I'll... Wait. Oh, but it's like all the way over there. It was from the level 1 area. So I guess I'll... Like, I think I've checked that one before. I'm a little bit sad there's no arts manuals for, like, Shulk or something for, say, Backslash. I want to power that up. There, It's probably available somewhere in the world that I've gotten to already. I probably just haven't checked enough shops, if I had to guess. Do you have any arts manuals that I haven't yet yes. learned? Let's see here. Okay, you have a few. Oh, and they're, like, hella cheap ones, too. Oh, yeah, you have a whole bunch of Shulk ones. Or at least one. Oh, yeah, there's Backslash. Sweet! Yes, I would very much like to power these up further. Yeah, I have so much gold from doing all these side quests. Holy crap. My goodness. Alright, so now if I open the arts menu... Have a look at that! I can level things up so much further now. Nice! Maybe I'll have a look at Shulk. Because... Yeah, let's level up things like Backslash. I'll level up Backslash another time even. Bring the cooldown to 17 seconds and increase the damage even further. Now, nah, let's freaking max out Backslash right now until I get another Arts Manual. I'll power up Light Heal. Maybe I'll even power it up again. Yeah, sure. Just like that. Nice. Um, for other Arts Manuals, for things that I actually use. Guess I can power that up, say, once. Yeah, I'm still gonna need plenty of Arts Manuals for things, me thinks. Alright, now we can power up things here a, a little bit. Um, yeah, we can power up things a couple times here. Mid things now that we got a whole bunch of arts manuals. Inflicting days, not bad. Um, what else do I use here? Wait, what aura do I have on him anyway? I use engage and I can't power that up anymore right now anyway. Okay, so let's see here. For Sharla... Oh, she has a whole bunch of freaking AP for me to assign. Yeah, sure. Let's power up her heals even more. I still need the Arts Manual for heal round, though. I can't power it up any further yet. I'll power up Shield Bullet once. Um, oh, Heal Counter is pretty good, too. Hmm, restores HP when attacked. That would actually be pretty decent. I might actually replace Shield Bullet. Honestly. I might just do that. Or I could replace Tranquilizer. Hmm. Like, I technically don't need both of these. Hmm. Could do something like that. I don't know. Hmm. Too many good supporting arts. My goodness. Too many good ones. Um, Dunban has a whole bunch I can assign. And especially now that I got... Like, so many arts battles for him. My oh my. And Corn Surf coming out of nowhere, raiding with a party of six. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. I appreciate the raid, Corn Surf. What were you just streaming? Welcome, everybody, from Corn Surf Stream. We are playing some Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition right now. Just kind of chilling and doing some side quests. And hope you had an awesome stream over there. What was the what was the game of choice for today? Right now, we're just kind of chilling here. And Do I have all of Dunban's arts battles? I do, for all of his current arts. Kingdom Hearts. Nice. Which one? I don't I don't actually play. I haven't actually ever played any Kingdom Hearts before. Maybe one day I will, but I mean it might still be a while. The first. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I had I had the console that it was on as well, but never played it though. Though I've never been much of a much of a Disney person. Not exactly. Oh, maybe I should buff up Sur I'll turn up my camera so you can see how things are changing. Yeah, I do like effect time and cooldown all getting buffed. Maybe I'll even max out Serene Heart for now. Just to make it very nice. Um, let's see here. Wow, Electric Gutbuster's cooldown is so short. Indeed, the Spanish Inquisition. Indeed, they do. Welcome to our shenanigans, Ronin Otaku Knight. Honestly, though, it's not that great. I've heard really good things about it. I've never played it before. But you don't think it's that great? That's like me playing freaking Okami. <laughs> Everybody says that it's so good, and then I play, I'm like, what am I doing? Like, I'm sure 
If anybody ever watches my Okami playthrough in the future, they're probably gonna, like, hate me. <laughs> my goodness. I mean, slight buff. Maybe I'll go for Gale Slash. Yeah, a decent damage buff. I guess I'll buff this after all, anyway. That's what I'll do. Alright, I've assigned almost all my AP, except for, like, Ricky. But, like, I don't have a whole lot of arts manuals on Ricky at the moment. So, that's the that's the problem. But, yeah, it's great if you're a Kingdom Hearts fan. But, it's not if you're not a Kingdom Hearts fan. Whoa. Whoa. alley -oop. We're rebuilding this area over here. So, we got some... We got some more development over here. I might be able to get some more collectibles from over here, even. If I maybe sneak past these houses, excuse me. So we got this kind of fountain over here built. I don't recognize this bit. Did I never actually build this in previous playthroughs that I've done? Because I actually don't recognize the follow. I need to turn down the sound of that follow alert one day. My oh my, I appreciate the follow, Ronin Otaku Knight. Can I? I was about to say, can I not hop over that? To get some collectibles over here. But yeah, like the combat is floaty and slow, and the first few areas aren't very good Disney licenses. Hmm. Like, I never watched a whole lot of Disney stuff in general, and any stuff that I have watched, I probably completely forgot. We got a fountain now. Oh, can I not jump into the, into the center bit, though? Like, if I'm on the edge here. Oh, I'm so sad, and I can't, <laughs> I can't jump up there. Oh, man. But yeah, so now we have all of Colony 6 developed up to, like, here, and then it's just, like, still rubble this way. It's still rubble out here, so we still have a little bit of development to go. Still a ways to go before it's fully developed. My oh my. Oh, we need to have them, like, be best of friends before we can see that heart to heart. First three areas are Alice in Wonderland, Hercules, and Tarzan. Disney did a thing on Alice in Wonderland? You what? I... I did not know this, honestly. I straight up did not know. Well, let's see what we need next. Like... Can I develop any more of Colony 6 right now, or do I need to progress the story anymore? Like, let's see. Let's go back to the Xenoblade wiki. And see what areas this stuff is found in. So, let's see. For housing, to get to level 4. So, the King of Hearts is like, visit all the Disney theme park exhibits, but in RPG format. Like, I've heard about that, where it's like, a whole bunch of different, you know, things going on at once like that. Also, it says completion at the bottom right. 34% population 51. Ether plants is functioning. Are they sometimes not functioning? What? One thing you like so far is recognizing all the Final Fantasy characters. Mm -hmm. So is it your first time trying out Kingdom Hearts then? Um, so let's see here. Uh, Ponyo Hoof Seal is from an air area that we won't actually get to for a little while. So we definitely can't bring everything up to level 4 at least. Um, so that's from an area that I haven't reached yet. Um, and Royal Wolf Hide is from an area that I haven't reached yet. Warring Lamp is from an area I haven't reached yet. And Retro Diode is from an area that I haven't reached yet. I mean, apparently there's a small chance that I can get them from Colony 6 in the special areas, but... Hmm. Like, you heard so many great things about it, so I assume you were looking forward to hopping into it, and now you're just kind of disappointed. That's literally me with freaking Okami. Like, I heard so many great things about it, and then I hopped into it, and I'm like, I'm not having fun. <laughs> is a thing. What about Commerce? So, that first item is from an area I'm not at yet. Second one's from an area I'm not at yet. Third one's from an area I'm not at yet. Fourth one's from an area I'm not, not at yet. Okay, what about nature? Um, the first item I can get. Uh, the second item I can get. Uh, the third one I can't. And the fourth one I can't. So, I can't finish that off right now anyway. What about special? Let's see here. From, this is some, you can get that from something in Bionis Interior, but like, we only have a small area of Bionis Interior available right now so i don't know if i can even get there so far and the other ones i can't get anyway it might have to be like really late game before i can get special up to level four hmm you were going to shoot bioshock but for some reason it doesn't work with the xbox app oh so you were like streaming through the console or something like that rather than using a capture card like it's from some enemies in bionis interior but i don't know if they've appeared yet like i think it's only later in the game that we actually get those maybe i'm not sure like i can check if they're here just because it would be nice once i reach that area that i haven't unlocked yet it would be nice to be able to get level four completed once we get to like the next big area of the game instead of having special level four just being locked until like really really late game oh capture cards coming on the eighth nice 
looking forward to a capture card then i assume yeah capture card could be really really nice to have around yeah are there just like no enemies in this area right now we might not even be able to get special up to level four until like really really late game that sucks hmm so i guess it's just special level four that like also are there no collectibles here during the brief time that you're introduced to the bionis interior it's only when you get to explore around it much more later that there's more things Hmm, guess so. What about level 5 for things? Do I need to wait until, like, way late game for level 5 of all this stuff, too? Um. Let's see here. Um. Oh, that's interesting that one of the level 5 things for housing is something that you can only get during an area that you only have briefly. But it looks like you can trade for it. But yeah, anyway, how's Xenoblade? You've never played before, but you heard good things about it. Hope things aren't lies like Kingdom Hearts. Xenoblade's actually really good. Like, I haven't beaten the Definitive Edition yet, but I've beaten the original game so many times over. And it's honestly my favorite narrative in any video game. Well, actually, it's my favorite narrative in terms of quality of the narrative. My favorite narrative might be Pokemon Mystery Dungeon 2, just because it impacted me the most emotionally. But in terms of, like, quality of narrative, I think that this is probably the best of, like, any game I've ever played. Like, the way- the places it goes are freaking crazy, and I love it. What I don't love is searching around, as I did for, like, two hours earlier, for freaking ice cabbages that have, like, a 6% spawn rate at best at the few areas that they even have that. It was painful. Anyway, hold on. Let's see here. Yeah, so it looks like the- It looks like the level 5 stuff is all over the place. One of them is a drop from, like- like really high level enemies though in, in by honest leg like level 80 enemies yeah they're called ice cabbages there's collectibles in this game and this area called Valak mountain whoops this one right here is the only thing i'm missing for veg i could have put it in my collectopedia but whenever you put it into these entries it takes one out of your inventory and i needed two for rebuilding that colony so this thing right here ice cabbages my most hated collectible probably in the entire game i hate it and I still need one more if I want to fill that spot of the Collectopedia. I got my two I needed for the colony, but I still need one more if I want to fill in that slot there. Uh, for Commerce Level 5. Yeah, it seems like it's very much late game stuff. So I guess Level 3 for everything is as far as you can get the colony as a whole before, like, really late game. Because Special Level 4. Like, I just... Hold on, where is Special here? Yeah, special level 4. There's, like, enemies that you have to defeat in the Bionis interior in order to get special to level 4. And that's, like, way late game. So I'm probably not gonna develop Colony 4. Colony 4, Colony 6 for a while. But yeah, that's a JRPG for you. They can't make it easy. What do you think this is? A Western RPG? I know, right? What do you think this is, huh?